DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. beautiful people welcome back to another episode of noted your personal walking talking flavor reviews my name is emily also known as mill nikon please say hello to my other co-host chiba steva and id10t how are you boys doing tonight hey emily hi <laughs> just oh, jumped oh. out there right <laughs> wow fun. and now he's all confused like what do i do now <laughs> that's never that happened <laughs> Doing pretty good. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, pomegranates today, but uh, they're not too bad. Well, I'll tell you what. I did one of those DIY vapor supply deep dives on damn things. And oh, yeah. <laughs> wound up with like 19 <laughs> pomegranates. Like there must be. The I, was looking for the, I was looking for the holy grail of pomegranates. <laughs> and I... As much as I like to like build suspense or whatever, I don't want to waste anyone's time. I, I will just come right out and tell you right now. I did not find a better pomegranate than Flavor Arts with oh, really? uh, <laughs> a couple of runner-ups at TFA, and that's about it. That's, that's my opinion on pomegranates. Wow. After... I stand by my favorite is FA. Nice long yeah. deep dive. Yeah, FA's pretty good. Well... <laughs> At least, uh, at least now we'll get to know about all these. So you went, uh, you got a bunch of them from DIY Vapor Supply, huh? Yeah, I went there and picked up a bunch, all the ones they didn't have at Bull City. And you really can just go They're down. Crazy to off brands. Yeah. I and went DIY Vapor Supply, supply. like you can get silly. Hey, Mr. <laughs> B went down the rabbit hole a little bit too, didn't he? I kind of did. Thanks for having me again. I uh, I didn't quite match you on, on flavors, but I, I did my best here. I got about nine or 10 of them. Thanks I love it when our guests do their homework. That's awesome. <laughs> um, he, uh, yeah, he just got almost as many as I do. And it really didn't matter, like I said, because I couldn't find. Did you find one that you were like, wow, this is amazing? No. In fact, the the one that I had to begin with before I signed up for this FA is still my favorite. Doesn't that yeah. suck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You dive that deep and then you don't find anything worth worthwhile, really. I'm a letdown. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, we've all agreed pretty much that Flavor Art is our favorite pomegranate. Why? Have a good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? Why? Why is it? Oh, well, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. All right. Um, <laughs> I think one of my, it wasn't my first recipe, but it was like the recipe that put me on the map is uh, in the God of Navita. Yes. 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 And uh, so ever since then, it's been my favorite because it's just, I love how just bright and top heavy it is. But even though it's bright and and like very like fruit forward, it also kind of has a syrupy sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. It's just very well rounded. It's a full spectrum flavor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like the forest fruit of pomegranates. <laughs> it there is you go. Good. There's a good way to put it. It's got a little tartness to it. It's got yep. a little sharpness to it, but it's also has some depth. Um, but it can be tricky to work with. Yeah, it can be really tricky. Yeah, we're bored way too easily. A lot of times, it gets a bad rap because people will just push it too high. And as soon as you go, I mean, it's a very fine line. As soon as you go over that a, a, a hair, perfume. Yep. Yeah, and what would you say is that a uh, breaking point, sort of? It depends on what you're mixing it with, really. It really depends. Um, and but not, I just like regular, this- not just regular perfume either, like a, <clears throat> like a, it gets warm, like camphorous, warm and woody, kind of. Yes. 
Yeah, there's a wooden thing in there, but only if you take it up too high. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You were talking about how high is too high. Yeah, it really depends on what what you mix it with. You know, I've pushed it up to like three percent before, ah. but I've also had it in mixes where at like two two and a half percent was too much. So it just really depends. I feel like you're pretty safe in a like an RDA or a good RTA um, in anything below uh two is safe yeah, above exactly. that it might start getting iffy i don't i want to find out how much it would how much it would uh how potent it would be in like one of those little pod devices because i think it'd be really good in that oh, but yeah. Yeah, uh, you, you've been bugging me to uh make it <laughs> a Vita for a pod for a while <laughs> yes i need to get around to that can you please just do all the experiments on that so i don't have to like, <laughs> enjoy the fruits of your labor, literally the fruits. I know. This I really like pomegranate. Like whenever I need a generic, just a, a top heavy reddish fruit, I I'll go for pomegranate over like raspberry or strawberry, just because it's it's just a little bit different, but it is still like red. You know, like it's it's very it's red. I know this is kind of weird, but it, it does. Does the flavor like out of the bottle smell like those bottle caps candies to you guys? Because it smells like dead on like bottle caps. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> I never realized that before. Yeah, it's totally yeah. Smart. It doesn't really taste like it at all, but it it no. smells like it. It tastes way more natural than that, like the real like the real fruit. Yeah, but yeah, out of the bottle, it sure enough smells like bottle caps. <laughs> That's too funny. Wow, that's crazy! How I have it right here and I'm smelling it. <laughs> BT Cruiser wants a Brookside. That's nuts. Uh, with pomegranate, didn't you do that with another fruit, Dave? The the acai, yeah. Yeah, you should. Oh. Uh, you should do that with pomegranate too. Do the pomegranate Brookside. Yeah, I think flavor art would be the one that I would use for that. Flavor art, and Australian uh, chocolate done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Boom. <laughs> that's well, m maybe. You probably want a little bit more in there, like maybe a little bit, a little bit sweetener and something to keep that because that I'm afraid that that's going to be a little dry. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Something to moisten yeah. up that chocolate a bit. If nothing else, just a little bit of a wetter chocolate because that chocolate's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Or even like a cream of sorts, right? Just to mellow it out. Yeah. As long as it doesn't stomp on the pomegranate. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking like maybe just some. Like flavor milk chocolate, real low, zero point two or something. There you go. Oh just, yeah. Just a milkier, sort of less dry chocolate. Yeah. Some sweetener too. Might as well. It's candy. <laughs> yeah. Right. You gotta have a little bit of sweetener in that. But, but yeah, no, I'd use flavor art pomegranate for that. Finding the percentage, finding the right concentration to balance might be hard to do. Really, flavor maybe the best tasting pomegranate. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of other pomegranates, what kind of um, recipe would you maybe suggest for a different type of pomegranate? Or do you just think uh, flavor of pomegranates, you know, for whatever your pomegranate needs are, just go for that one? There, there are only a couple of other pomegranate flavors that I would even actually use for anything <laughs> after trying them all. And mostly that would be like as a, sort of a backup to other fruits yeah yeah, I can't... yeah for some reason if your mix was like too bright or too top heavy and you needed a little bit of like a bassy note in there but you didn't want to do like a cream or something mm -hmm. maybe tfa pomegranate deluxe because it is kind okay. of a more like a, a jammy or a bassy type pomegranate but i can't that's right they got it. deluxe and regular right the regular one, uh, now a lot of people say that's just hand soap in a bottle. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of the regular. It, yeah, it does have a little bit of an edge to it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. find you got to keep it real low, but it does work pretty well as a backup to things like um, cherry. Yeah. Where like, like some cherries, they taste right, but they taste really faint. And then suddenly they taste like medicine when you go to like use more. But you could use some pomegranate, just a regular pomegranate to back that up and fill it in a little bit without without going medicine or whatever. Mm. But it's uh yeah, it it does get soapy pretty quick. Yeah. So if you use regular TFA pomegranate, 
regular TFA pomegranate for, for cherries. And you remember Goldfish, the one who won the first DIY yeah. World Mixing Comp? He told mm. me that it's a really good at 0 0.25 to 1% to support a strawberry flavor. Hmm. Huh. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's... Just to give it a little red you know, here. I would just... Why not just use FA, though? You know what I mean? Like... Because yeah. it's because FA is a little bit more assertive and not quite as generically red thing underneath like Yeah, I suppose. Like like it's let's say I want to I want a cherry flavor, but I can't fill it in with more cherry or it's gonna turn medicine. I can slip some TFA pomegranate in there. I'm not gonna be able to just slip some some flavor art pomegranate in there. It's gonna taste like flavor <laughs> art pomegranate if I do that. Yeah. You know I mean? Back up. The real real low. We're talking like one percent or sub 1%. I yeah. didn't find it to be soapy at 3%. Um, mm. I thought it tasted like what like imaginary pomegranate bubble gum might taste like. But <laughs> I got it at 5% and that's when I got soap. Yeah, I got it at 4%. I got it at 4% as well. Is it soapy at 4? Yeah. That's yeah it's really soapy. I haven't tried. At 2%. Got a floral edge to it. At 2%, it wasn't necessarily floral, but it was... It was like sharp and and a little perfumey, mm. um, but yeah, by by four percent, it was it was pretty out there for me. Yeah, <laughs> so I that's only recommended like percent. Really topping it out. Yeah. yeah, I'm keeping it at one as a backup to well for me cherries, and then I I might try what goldfish advice and use it to fill in a strawberry. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, if anything, it would give you a strawberry that's unique and not exactly the same as everyone else's strawberry. You know, yeah, it'd certainly be unique. That's <clears throat> well. <laughs> and then there's that deluxe. The they have the deluxe version. I, I think I kind of like that one better. It doesn't yeah. have it doesn't have that problem of soapiness. Yeah, it doesn't have the same kind of edge to it, but it's just it's more mellow, and it just kind of is like basier, like syrupier almost it's also you know? wetter i thought it kept that juicy mm -hmm. sort of feel to it that that was lacking in the other one so the the regular tfa pomegranate running me like bubble gum but like even down to the dryness of bubble gum you know yeah and and uh, pomegranate deluxe is actually kind of mouth-watering oh, i don't yeah, go that far but yeah it does <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like a real pomegranate though it tastes like Cranberry and raspberry and red grape juice all mixed together. Yeah, yeah. almost like a, a bad grenadine or something. Yes. <laughs> Slightly medicinal yeah. grenadine. Yeah, it is that. Speaking is of that. grenadine, that's Speaking one of the flavors of I tested because, well, it's pomegranate, right? Well, grenadine is um, syrup that's sweetened and, or not sweetened, flavored with pomegranate. It's way mm. sweeter than any pomegranate because <laughs> mostly. Yeah. It's mostly sugar, but it's got some pomegranate in there. Uh, but Wonder Flavors grenadine, super, oh. super good for like two hours. I'll never, oh, yeah. never forget the got a issue. I'll never forget the first time she <laughs> tried, tried that flavor. He sent me a message telling me I had to drop what I was doing and try Wonder Flavors grenadine right away. And of course, I didn't drop what I was doing and try that right away. I was like, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll do that as soon as I get around to it. You know? Yeah. And uh, the next morning, he sent me a, a follow-up message that said, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Never mind. That's awesome. <laughs> we were so excited. But that's how fast that flavor fades. Yeah. I, I still say I want to make a mix, a shake and bake mix with grenadine and lime wedge. I think it'd be delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lavora well, Lime Wedge and Wonder Flavors Grenadine are indeed yeah. the fadingest <laughs> flavors I've ever encountered. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, she can vape, and that's it. it. I think it'd be, be the best two-hour mix I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, I the, noticed. Uh, I mixed this up earlier, and uh, even now I can tell that it's starting to fade a little bit. It's very sad though because it's so good when it's just fresh. It's like very vibrant. It's vibrant, it's sweet, it's a little a little thick. It could use a little bit more thickness, I would think. Tastes like grenadine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's just great. And and then, you know, sh very shortly after that, there's some flavor still there, but it just falls really very, very flat and just like yeah. a shadow of itself. Yeah. 
mostly just sweet is all that's left. There's not really any red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like no, hot sweetness. Pale, faded red. But um, yeah, so just shake and vape. I wish I understood the science behind that, you know? Like, what's what makes it fade like that? Yeah, I don't know. That's really interesting. Is it like super light molecules that it's relying on for the flavor that they float away every time you open the bottle? Or is it some kind of selective muting or selective vape tongue? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it anything. might even be uh, yeah, olfactory fatigue because I noticed that happens to me a lot with strawberries. I mean, it would have to be like right. the fastest olfactory fatigue in history. But yeah, I don't. I it could, it's a it's a perfectly logical explanation for a really weird phenomenon. But, Maybe not even because, yeah, switching from other things and coming back to this, it's still not really there. So it's I don't still, know. It's still gone. Yeah. I don't, yeah. It's very bizarre, but what a great shake and vape. And it always seems like it's always like the real bright flavors do the fading, you know, like the citruses yeah. and like the, yeah. the bright berries, you know? And super concentrate mango. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Don't remind me of that. I know. Every time I'm looking through my flavors and I see it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> That I mean, one the two hour mix cheese. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There. Mix <laughs> super concentrate mango and wonder flavors grenadine and a little give it a little hit of flavora lime wedge and yep, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, five hour energy, there's it's five hour vape. That's how good it's <laughs> yeah. best. and after that you it's can gone. You only make five mils of it because you won't be able to vape any more than that. Right. <laughs> hey, but it could be a lot worse on the grenadine front. It could be capella grenadine. Oh, go, oh boy. Uh, tell us about that one. <laughs> well, credit goes to Concrete Rick for its nickname, but for me, it will forever be called Capella Nightmare Cherry. Of, <laughs> yeah. I need to just write that on the bottle. Um, it's <laughs> truly, truly horrific. It tastes like all of your nightmares in a bottle. Um, really, oh. it tastes, it's, it's like the, the plastic medicine off notes from cherry flavors. It's all of that. Just the off notes, not the actual cherry yeah, flavors. Just all of that. That's where just I'm all of that horror. <laughs> all of that stuff that keeps, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, thinking <laughs> about how terrible that is. It's yeah. all of that in a bottle. It's not exceptionally strong, um, mm. but it's just, yeah. that, but that's all it is. And oh, so no. It's just a horrifying experience. Yeah. It's not something you want to uh. play around with. No, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I tried it once, and uh, that was the last time I did anything <laughs> with that one. <laughs> yep. Now that Capella does have um, pomegranate, yeah, and a blueberry pomegranate with stevia, and those aren't nightmarish. So I don't know they're why they nightmares, they but they're not grenadine nightmarish. <clears throat> yeah, they're not the best. Um, now I've definitely used the uh, blueberry with pomegranate, and I hear the pomegranate note in their blueberry pomegranate is fairly similar to their uh, regular pomegranate. Would you it's, agree it's friggin' identical. Yeah. And, and all what they've done is they've, they've just made it less good <laughs> by adding some cardboardy blueberry to that and stevia for whatever reason. Yeah. I, I don't really enjoy the stevia in it. It almost reminds me of the real flavors, uh, super concentrate flavors, that kind of weird sweetness afterwards. Yeah. Weird ling lingering yeah. sweetness without any flavor. Yeah. yeah. And stevia does have like an earthy quality to it. So I could see that really, you know, complimenting uh, in the, the wrong way, that cardboardy note from the blueberry. Yeah, it's a shitty blueberry, and the pomegranate with that, it's it's identical. The pomegranate note in there is identical to their pomegranate V two. I haven't had V one. I think it's yeah. I wasn't able to find it. I think it's been discontinued. I couldn't find it on Capella's website, but it's yeah. not. But the pomegranate is just sort of mediocre. It's not bad. It's yeah. it's not good. It's called V two. <laughs> it's it's not butyric, so you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> V2 and yeah. think, oh, barf, but there's not, it's not that. There's no reason to be scared of it. Kind of a yeah. syrupy, candy, I cherry, thought, cranberry, raspberry, grape thing. I thought it was a little soapy. Um, Waxy. Without the blueberry in there. I thought just the, the plain pomegranate. I think the blueberry helped? Yeah, I with the soapiness. I thought I thought just the plain pomegranate was a little like huh. floral and soapy. Um, what percentage do you guys do? I had it at, at 2 and 3%. I did three on both. 
Yeah, I think I was at three. I didn't. Th- I think the blueberry one is worse because I don't like that cardboard blueberry added to it. I didn't. It didn't help yeah. me with the sort of like chemical wax thing that it's got going on. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, you thought and, if you thought that Capella pomegranate was bad, <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got news for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, yeah, it's not the best. Yeah. It's yeah. got some issues. Yeah, it's kind of thin. Did you notice any uh, like medicinal qualities in the uh, Capella pomegranate or blueberry pomegranate? I, I think the just pomegranate B two. I wouldn't quite say medicinal, um, but but soapy. It was it was like on the verge of of going like floral or medicinal for me. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I remember there was an off character. Just a little plasticky or weird or something. There's something wrong there. Yeah, something weird. Yeah. And it's and it's got a it's got a blank spot in it that's sort of filled with wax. Yeah. It, that's how I felt about the blueberry pomegranate. I I feel like the the like VG sweetness exhale on it left like this big empty space. Yeah. In, in the flavor. Similar to the way that a lot of the real flavors do, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did you you have Flavor West? You have Flavor West pom, uh, pomegranate, right, Mister B? I do. Oh, I do Flavor indeed. West. Did, makes you, one did you vape that? Yeah. Did you uh, die? No. <laughs> no. I, I I've ingested worse. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it it was to me. It didn't really remind me much of a pom- a pomegranate. It was just like a. Uh, red tangy fruit flavor that like progressively got stranger through the steep. <laughs> the longer I waited, the I, I felt like every week I checked on it, it was a different flavor. Oh, ah. okay. that's interesting. And, and uh, how no, would you describe some of these flavors you were tasting? Uh, none of them were very good. <laughs> they were, it's, it's just kind of a thin flavor and yeah like i said it's just it's not it doesn't really remind me much of a pomegranate it just it's kind of this red tangy tangy flavor like a red tank does it um come across as like a fruit yeah kind of <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a fruit I know. <laughs> so it didn't strike you as something that you want to use for something no not really especially with the uh I don't know if it's like fructose or what, but I think it's got something in there. It's got some kind of sugar in it. That's the reason I didn't even bother trying it. They have one called palm berry. Palm berry, okay. Yeah, palm berry. And I tried that one knowing that it had sugar in it just because, you know, what if it's another yellow cake where we just all pretend that we don't know that it has sugar in it? Right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, and and to see if it was, like, worth it, and it's, it's definitely not. It's, uh, it tastes like... So it wasn't bad, but it, it just tastes like a like a fruit medley of strawberry, grape, cranberry, just a little yeah. hint of cherry. Um, but yeah, it didn't like, taste like anything that you couldn't do without the sugar, you know? Yeah. It was indeed very sweet, but it was more like fruit juicy than candy, just a hodgepodge of fruit juice. And it just yeah. really seemed like something I needed to have. I feel like a lot of these pomegranates are coming across more of like a like a cranberry almost than like a pomegranate, which I mean, Certainly. they're yeah. kind of similar, right? Tart red. Yeah, kind of like a like cranberries and potpourri. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> What's going on? Well, it, it, I think they use raspberry um, flavor molecules in there to try to get to pomegranate and sometimes those can be a little perfumey. Yeah. I think that might be some of the perfuminess that that we get in these sort of remind me of the perfuminess in raspberries. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's got a bunch of other stuff going on too. And it's just, it gets confusing. Right. Um, One I can brush over real quick is, um, I almost forgot about this one. I was going back through my notes and I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's uh Loran's pomegranate. Have any, I think I'm the only one that's tried that one. I tried yeah. one called pomeg- uh, Loran's pomegranate natural. I, natural. I don't know that that's the same thing. Was it red? Did it have a red hue to it? No. Okay. Cause the one I had, and this was, you know, one of my first purchases from Loran, you know, 
first flavoring purchases. I just go, all right, we'll get some stuff from the Lorraine. It's Lorraine. probably actual pomegranate juice that you bought. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was in like their flavorings and stuff. And some of them were oil based and whatnot. So those were not usable. But uh, this one did have a red dye to it. Now, it did taste like, um, if you can imagine, like a pomegranate Jolly Rancher. Uh, it Ooh. really tasted very similar to how that would taste. It's very candied. Um, not really a natural pomegranate flavor. Um, but yeah, if you can find it without the red dye, which I don't know where I would find that. But uh, I had a friend that I would mix that up for, and he really liked it. <laughs> and just, just, just that at like three to five percent. <laughs> it sounds good, a pomegranate yeah. jelly rancher. Yeah, yeah. My, minus the red dye, right? Yeah. But your uh, pomegranate natural does that one come across candy, or how does that one taste? Um, uh, no, it it comes across very purple. 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 I don't know if I can call it a candy, but it huh. tastes like it tastes like purple. Like a grape kind of purple, or like a mm, sort of like, like a berry a type of purple. Really dark berry purple. Hmm. It doesn't taste as much like a um raspberry as the others as something more along the lines of like a boysenberry. boysenberry. Some kind of dark berry. Um re- really dark, purple colored. Um it's sweet. It's sort of missing that yeah. tart thing that I that I that a pomegranate should have on top of it, you know? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. It doesn't yeah. have that tartness. It's yeah. just missing. In fact, it doesn't really have much top note at all. It's mostly all base. I feel like it could fill in like a, a pomegranate, like to be the bottom half. I yeah. found that really disappointing. Like when I was trying some of these pomegranates, if it was just if it didn't have any of that tartness or that brightness, yeah. it was just like, ugh, like that's not a pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, like it was really unsatisfying. You know, like yeah. you want a little bit of that tang yeah. to it, you know. Yeah, and I don't know that I would, if you just gave this to me without a label, I don't know that I would call it palm grain. I'd be like, what is that? Some kind of mixture between boysenberry jam and grape jelly? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. yeah, so that one was a little disappointing. And I was also afraid that it might, I tried it at 4%. It was not soapy to me, but something okay. made me think that it could possibly go soapy pretty quick if the concentration were cranked up. I didn't mix it up again or add more because I'm kind of lazy. But I tried cranking up the wattage and then it did get a touch soapy with the extra heat. So there's yeah. that. There's a, there's a mm-hmm. hazard to that one. I don't know. I didn't it, it didn't um inspire me to do anything with it. Yeah. <laughs> but I tried it. I'm still searching for the pomegranate holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, we may have already stumbled onto it, kind of. This is one of those times where I wish Delosi made a pomegranate because like, likely mediocre <laughs> would be so good right now. Because what have we got? Flavor art is like the closest thing we've got to. Yeah, yeah. but I, mean, I believe say flavor art's as good as it gets. But none of them were like. Well, there was one other one, but <laughs> so far, all the ones I talked about, none of them were like screaming into my pillow and wanting to kill myself bad like <laughs> like grenadine that was the only <laughs> one so i mean and a lot of them are like that they're just awfully awfully mediocre yeah. and just falling short and that tartness like emily said she nailed it it's if that's missing you can just forget about it just you're not a pomegranate i don't know what you are but <laughs> go away yeah. um real flavors Oh, they got one? I've got two of them. They've I've got the super concentrate pomegranate and the super concentrate blueberry acai pomegranate. Mm-hmm. Um both of those and the uh the pomegranate really is just so stereotypical of them. <laughs> yeah, yes. very I don't big. even feel like saying, yeah, you please you you describe it for me without having tried it. I promise you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's got a little bit of that pomegranate flavor, but it's really thin, it's top heavy. You know, there's yeah. not really any body to it or depth. Yeah, um, it just tastes like VG on the exhale. Yeah, yeah, dry, dry. <laughs> I, I of, thought it, I thought it was a little wet for a uh, for the RFSC flavors. I, I didn't think it was too awfully dry. 
You know, when I you put it, when you put it into perspective next to their other flavors, I guess it wasn't too terribly dry. Yeah, but then I, I, in perspective against all these other pomegranates, I mean, it doesn't even it's all it's like powder dry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, except for maybe JF. I didn't try that one. How was that one? Um, it was like that a didn't sound it, good. <laughs> it was the the texture of mouthfeel is almost like pixie sticks. Like it was real dry and and powdery to me. And, and it, kinda t- it tasted kind of like that too, like that that bright. Actually, you know, it it kind of reminded me of bottle caps as well. Now, now that I think about it, what if bottle caps <laughs> is flavored with pomegranate? Yeah, um, must be. It was, but it was mostly orange up front. I actually I didn't get a whole lot of pomegranate out of it. There was a little bit on the tail end of the exhale, but uh, the orange is what really stood out. It was, and which one is that jungle flavors orange pomegranate? Yeah, pomegranate uh, jungle flavors oh, pomegranate, pomegranate orange. orange. <clears throat> oh, that's an interesting combination. Yeah, so I didn't mean to hijack the uh, real flavors talk, but no, no, that's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I read Rick's um, flavor notes on this one, and he mentioned that he was getting like a bubble gum in it, and uh, I didn't necessarily get the bubble gum, but he did mention that it reminded him of those fluoride rinses at the doc at the dentist. Oh God. And I absolutely <laughs> can see that. And I don't like dentists and I don't like this flavor. There you go. There, you heard it here. <laughs> Dental flavor. No, thank you. Yeah. Pass on the jungle flavors there. You know, uh, most of the jungle flavors have this MO where they, have tried to take something that somebody else makes, usually flavor art, but sometimes in Aero, and they try to like make it, but really close, but better. Yeah. Like just a little bit better. I right. feel like they should probably stick to that because yeah. <laughs> here's, here's this one that doesn't, as to, to my knowledge, have an Inawera or flavor art counterpart, and it's terrible. It, yeah. it really does that like candy powder thing really well, but I'm, you'd, you'd have to, you'd have to want orange in there because I, I don't think you could really get around that. The orange is pretty forward. It might also predate them being sold, the company being sold and then and then coming out with a lot of new flavors after. Oh, yeah. So might might that, be one of their older flavors. That orange, did it come across like a, like um, like tang or like a navel orange or what type of orange would you say? It's kind of like a tang, I would say. Um, it, it's like if you just kind of stuck your finger in the, the tang powder, it's that kind of, yeah, tang, okay. dry, not necessarily dry, but the, the powdery kind of yeah. texture. Yeah. Okay. I like tang. <laughs> <laughs> did you also try the real flavor super concentrate blueberry acai pomegranate? I did. I did. did, you, did you like it pretty much? I mean, um, it was it was all right. It it was a little on the floral side for me. Um, I thought it was just kind of a general blue flavor. I didn't really get the whole blueberry acai pomegranate thing. It was more just like a blue fruit with a little bit of a tangy finish. Um, That's what I liked about it. It has some tanginess to it, unlike some a lot of the other ones. It actually has yeah. some tang. Yeah. And what percent did you use both three. of the flavor? Three? Okay, three. I did two and a half. Two and a half. Did you get any of that floral note, Dave? No, I didn't think it tasted as floral. And I thought even though there's like a big dead spot in it where it's kind of bland and weak, it wasn't completely top heavy and uh, there was stuff Energy. going on afterwards. Yeah, it had a little bit more going on. Yeah. Um, like That's he said, it has that, that tangy sort of finish. Um, they call it blueberry acai pomegranate i couldn't really pull pomegranate or blueberry out of it to me it kind of tasted like acai but with a little touch of red so it's like most those are blue fruits so it's like mostly blue with just a little bit of red okay um but it did there was i caught a hint of cocoa which is which is what um acai should have Hmm. and i thought that was pretty cool and even though it's got that dead spot in the middle that would need to be filled in with something, the fact that it comes back around with some tartness, it's not, uh, it's better than a lot of the super concentrates offerings. I don't know that it lives up to its name. Like I said, it's just sort of a acai with a little bit of red. I wouldn't call it a pomegranate flavor by any means or, or a blueberry flavor for that matter. Yeah. But it's, 
Not terrible? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Not terrible. That's a good note. I could do something with I could build something around that. I might even use that to make I might even use that to fill in part of the uh the pomegranate um brook side that Emily wants me to make. Oh, okay. It, honestly, it, I think there's a weak point in that. I might see if that could fill it. I think you could use a lot of these flavors if you were really going for like a more floral kind of recipe. I think you could you could take advantage of the the floral edge that a lot of these seem to have. Um, but if you're when you're going for like straight fruits and and you know refreshing tropical kind of flavors, I, I think they kind of miss the mark there. But uh, if if you they change, really do if you change it up to you know some sort of a floral recipe, I think you might be able to play around with some of these. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing as, as I was vaping some of these pomegranates. Like that floral note, while you you know you might not be looking for that in a pomegranate, uh, if you put that into a floral recipe, it could actually play very well. Yeah, because it does offer some bright notes, a little bit of that like tartness, right? Sure. Like, that's one thing I haven't really experimented with much in a uh, floral is like a tart. Aspect. Yeah, well, I would think a lot of flavors could get away with it if you're going floral anyway. Yeah. So you can use kind of that slight perfumey edge or that really bright, like sharp edge, and to say, well, you know, I'm going for that anyway, <laughs> and kind of you know, <laughs> yeah. make it work in your name. Or it is possible to beat that down like you did with the um, with the Inadegada de Vita because I didn't get any. Yeah. Yeah, floral okay. or perfume from that at all because yeah. the other strong flavors that are in there with it beat the crap out of that and yet at the same time you can still taste the the pomegranate so i think what um what made that recipe do so well is that for only it's only three flavors but two of the three flavors are flavors that people don't like it's tfa papaya and fa pomegranate and on their own and in most mixes they're not that good flavors but the two working together and combining with capella sweet tangerine they balance each other out and and it it works you know yeah it works very well at that that earthiness that that people don't like about tfa papaya kind of works with that bright you know tangy hard edge of pomegranate and kind of settles settles it down you must have done a lot of experimenting to get to that one. Well, it was a heck. Of, and the thing is, is what we had a week. It was during the competition, yeah. so it was a hectic, hectic few weeks. That competition, for sure. Lots of testing. Oh yeah, for sure. You guys got any more pomegranates before I go off the deep end? I'm all done. Um, Did we talk about Capella pomegranate yet? Uh, yeah, briefly. Well, we, the fact that it's been discontinued, probably. Oh, regular pomegranate, not pomegranate. regular yeah. pomegranate. Right. I've never tried it. I, I, I've never had regular, pomegranate, but it's been discontinued. Oh. So it's not worth talking about, really. I guess. Well, I mean, if you've got it, <laughs> I've got it. Why is, it about they can't it? Have. is it? Do you think it yeah. sounds like it's? Uh, do you have pomegranate V two? No, I don't. Okay, do, uh, do but, you think but I'm not sad that this one's discontinued. <laughs> oh boy. But, okay, it's not that bad, okay? It's like a, a sweet and sticky, basey pomegranate, like TFA Deluxe. Okay. But it's got a little bit of a tang to it, like a little bit of a harsh note or like a a tartness to it. Maybe too heavy on the malic acid or something like that? Yeah, like it's it's not perfumey, but it's not not perfumey either. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, right, it's teetering right on that edge. Yeah. Um, it's just not as harsh as like regular TFA pomegranate. You know, like that's got like a real like hard edge to it. Yeah. It's not quite that harsh. Okay. Um, but it's not a horrible flavor either. You know, it does have a sweet kind of sticky okay. sweet type sweetness to it. So. Yeah, which is something I think maybe the regular Capella was lacking a little bit. Right. It didn't really have that like sweet stickiness. Yeah. If I recall correctly. You mean the V2? Yeah, it'd be two. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, F.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also, you can't get that one anymore, so. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, whatevs. Whatevs. 
If you have it, use it. If you not, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. So diving off the deep end. Yeah, I, I did. I did. Um, and there wasn't much there. I hit my head on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I tried the Nature's Flavors Organic Pomegranate and the Nature's Flavors Organic Grenadine. Both of them taste more like black cherry than pomegranate to me. Hmm. Okay, that sounds like something people would do. Yeah, the pomegranate is really, it's a little tart, um, but it's really, really dark, like in, a, like, in a, like in a black cherry kind of sense, dark. Um, whereas when you pomegranate, you know, you look at those pomegranates, they're like little rubies, they're little jewels. Um, I forget what you call them, the little part that you eat that looks like a jewel. But you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I lose you completely. Yep. They're so okay. red. Um, and this is so purple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's but it is similar to like undiluted pomegranate juice, which is usually darker and a little bit more tart than just eating them. I don't know why the fruit itself is sweeter than the juice, but um it could use some more tartness to be a little bit more like pomegranate juice, okay. but it still tastes a lot like a cherry flavor to me, but not like a medicine cherry. So that's good. Um, yeah. As long as it doesn't come across medicinal cherries. Yeah. Thing, in my opinion. Have, like a marzipan or like TFA cherry extract for like a more cherry cherry. I don't know how that little bit of tartness would play with the marzipan, but yeah, with the ter- cherry <laughs> extract, it might darken it a little bit it's already pretty dark but it might darken it even more and give it another dimension so it could be used for that yeah it obviously wasn't the um holy grail of pomegranates and the grenadine straight up tastes like it's actually supposed to be black cherry soda syrup flavor yeah like a good black cherry um yeah okay it's not bad it's it's um it tastes like it could run soapy with a little over flavoring but at three percent it wasn't really under flavored um and it wasn't also wasn't soapy it just tastes like it could you know and this of, is nature flavors yeah the, or, the organic grenadine it doesn't taste like grenadine at all like i said just yeah. like black cherry soda syrup oh, um man. that's not white whale yeah the only thing, <laughs> well you might want to check it out then it doesn't really have like a punch of flavor does like, it have any well if it's soda syrup then it wouldn't be effervescent right no, it wouldn't be effervescent. That's why I said syrup. But it, it also doesn't have the the flavor intensity that syrup implies. So okay. I, probably, I probably shouldn't use that word either. Like a flat syrup, uh, like, uh, like a flat soda, maybe then. Yeah, like a flat cherry soda, flat black cherry soda. It's um, it doesn't have a lot of flavor intensity. Like um, the standard of soda syrup is anywhere orange <laughs> or shisha. <laughs> orange or shisha orange the shisha orange and yeah. if that's your standard for yeah. some syrup this is this is falling way short but describe <laughs> an artificial black cherry flavor even though it says grenadine on there it tastes like black cherry to me and just like kind of a little bit flat and diluted are you gonna use it as a as a cherry flavor and stuff if um you know i want to experiment with it there are a couple of black cherry flavors, uh, flavor art black cherry, and Wonder Flavors black cherry jelly bean. And oh, they, dude, I love not, that's my son's favorite flavor. Every time I <laughs> start smelling stuff, he's like, "Dad, let me smell the black cherry jelly bean." <laughs> yeah, it smells good. It, it um, both of those flavors have a nice black cherry quality to them, but they also both go medicine on me, like way too low in their concentration level for them to ever be like a black cherry soda vape or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I yeah, may ex- keep it out because I know he likes that one. I may experiment <laughs> with uh, using organic grenadine, uh, nature's flavors, organic grenadine to fill out or back up, push up, uplift, you know, provide some support for one of those. Sure. Yeah. You know what I wonder? If that can't get something done. But only you because to, I already have it. I wouldn't say everybody run out and grab this. That's amazing. <laughs> would you be able to use this, do you think? Let's say you were making like a cherry pipe tobacco. 
if you wanted to bolster like a black cherry. Pepper. No, no, I wouldn't do that because I would want like a natural sort of black cherry with a pipe okay. tobacco. Um, maybe like a dried cherry flavor. Right. And I definitely wouldn't want something this artificial. To, I know it says organic on the bottle, but I swear it tastes like artificial. Well, like soda. <laughs> yeah. Organic grenadine. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like it, yeah. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> organic. I tried the, uh, I tried Nick Vape's pomegranate and Nick Vape's pomegranate real. Uh, I, 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 pomegranate real. I guess the other one is pomegranate fake. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the pomegranate fake was yeah. very like woodsy and dark. Um, it had some tartness to it. And then also okay. maybe some bitterness, like the same kind of bitterness that underripe fruit has where you like, Okay. Eat it, a bite of it, and go. Oh, maybe That's that wasn't right. right. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to put that back. Uh, <laughs> but, um, sweet dark berry body, okay. kind of, kind of gave off the impression not of a pomegranate, but like a wild raspberry. All right, or maybe some type of, but darker. Hmm. It kind of reminded me of Flavora red raspberry, but darker, like some kind of <laughs> red raspberry is pretty dark. It darker than that even like yeah. some kind of wild boysenberry yeah okay. um definitely pretty, not what is it good like would you use it like over something like red raspberry well, or boysenberry? here's the thing it's got some kind of you know you know i said flavor art has a woody thing that it does yeah well this one at least i only tried it four percent six days so maybe longer steep or lower concentration or but uh, there's a, it's got that woody thing in there, and it's okay. more pronounced even than when you accidentally overdose on flavor art um, pomegranate. Oh wow! So okay. It really tastes like it's got wood in it. Um, so I kind of want to put it into a berry tobacco. Mm, there you go. You were asking about the black cherry. <laughs> I don't know if I would call it black cherry, but like some kind of berry because yeah. tobacco is one thing that I think could cover up that touch of wood that it yeah. has. That wood is I mean, right up front and tobacco would probably really cover it up as much as be a welcome compliment, right? Be a welcome compliment or just absorb it, you know, or they could yeah. absorb each other. Anyway, it wouldn't be bad with tobacco. I also right. thought maybe like a berry bourbon or berry wine because Oak could also do the same thing. There you but go. I'm, a, but I'm, a, I'm a little concerned that that might get medicine-y. Um, yeah, either I mean, you one. Gotta worry about that. Anything that comes across as like cherry, kind of, and just... that slight bitterness that it has, I could if I could see that because I could see that playing really well off like a tobacco. Yeah, um, but then you go and mix that with bourbon or wine, and I'm afraid it might. Although with wine, it might be better because you, you know, drier wine might make it like a drier wine. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, maybe was... throw it in like a sangria or something. Yeah. Yep. So it wasn't it overall is an interesting flavor and I would love to put it to use, but it's not a pomegranate. And this was Nick Vape pomegranate fake. Nick Vape's pomegranate. This is me when I, going off the deep end at the um at the vapor supply place. And then pomegranate real. Um it sort Does of it looks, taste real. <laughs> uh no, no. It tastes actually less real quite a bit less <laughs> real it it's got um some some of that cherry plastic cherry medicine okay just enough to ruin it i'm not amused it's very very similar to the pomegranate i somehow pomegranate is that and then pomegranate real is adding a shot of cherry medicine to that yeah it even also has that woody thing going on so i don't know what they were where they were going with that terrible so if you yeah. decide if you if you decide to try the pomegranate nick vapes pomegranate because i made it sound fascinating to you make sure you're getting pomegranate and not pomegranate real because that cherry thing is blech. what if you yeah, wanted to if you wanted to recreate pomegranate real you could take nick vapes pomegranate and add some capella uh grenadine to it oh there you go so mm. <laughs> Yes, stuff. I guarantee you that stuff is the ruiner of all things. Not, <laughs> not put that in anything. 
Um, oh, Lord. On the ruiner of all things note, health Hooray. cabin, health cabin pomegranate, that's a big fat no. Mm-mm. <laughs> Whoa. So tell it, me has, that one. <laughs> it has uh, this light sort of cherry grapeish flavor underneath. That's kind okay. of kind of in the pomegranate sort of realm. Well, yeah. You know, if you mix a tart cherry or and a grape together, that's tastes pretty pomegranate-y. Yeah. But uh but that's sort of like underneath okay. something that to me tastes like a cross between rubbing alcohol and motor engine starting fluid. Oh. <laughs> and if you've ever had motor engine starting fluid, it's mostly ether. And <laughs> have I had it? Have you, you had it? <laughs> you have to break that down even further, Dave. Like, come on. <laughs> it's it's uh it's a it's a it's something that you use in, in cars before there was fuel injection. It's like for okay. cars with carburetors, and sometimes it won't start, and you put some of this engine starting fluid in there, and it it gets it going. Off it you. goes. <laughs> yeah, and, but it's mostly ether. <laughs> um, yeah, people also use it in the bug collecting to like euthanize bugs. Oh, okay. And yeah. And alcohol stoves. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, that's what health cabin pomegranate tastes like. <laughs> uh, I think it was, was it Joey who said that she just picked up some health cabin pomegranate. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. About that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> sorry. Yes. Hey, look, maybe it steeps out and does and, and tastes great. It didn't go away after a week, so Yeesh. I would. That's a long time. I would, and that was at one percent. And I know a lot of health cabin. You want to go lower than that, um, so maybe lower. But at the same time, the cherry grapeish flavor was pretty light compared to the engine starting fluid. So I don't. <laughs> No, how, if you go any lower, you're not going to have anything but engine starting fluid and waiting for that to s- steep out or whatever. I don't, it was bad, just bad. Okay. Wait, a but how low did you go with Health Cabin? One. Did you One. go? Because I know a lot of times, like a lot of their flavors, like even 0.25 is too much. Yeah, and I could very well have been over flavoring, but I don't, I feel like even if that were just over flavoring, the cherry grapeish pomegranate type flavor would be dominant and there'd just be a little bit of something wrong you know <laughs> yeah. ether and not just a mouthful of ether with a little bit of oh. cherry i could be wrong <laughs> maybe a try it lower than one percent try it at a quarter of a percent steep it for two weeks instead of just one i don't know give it a shot but i'm just i, I would not I, I don't i'm not going to give it a shot <laughs> If someone else tries it and can swear to me that here's how you make this usable, use a quarter of a percent, steep it for two weeks, put it in the microwave, whatever, whatever trick your mission. to make it work. You to accept it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it again if you if you have a if you have a better way. But uh, one percent, one week, absolutely, ether in a bottle. You could probably you could probably knock someone out and do old timey surgery on them with this stuff. <laughs> old timey surgery, not just regular surgery. You're talking about bottomies and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bigford pomegranate. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, what was Bigford? Bigford or Bickford? Bigford. <laughs> Bigford, like uh, like the the lighter. I only have two more guys. <laughs> Big Bigford is what it's called, right? Bigford. Yeah, Bigford. 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 Bird the, is that from DIY Vapor Supply? Yeah, it's even. It's got a little circus tint on the bottle. B i c k f o r d. Bigford. All right, I've never heard of them before. What did well, you think? You obviously, saying? never shopped at DIY Vapor Supply. I I haven't. I did one time. I think you I did one time. To petition them to get them to ship to Canada. By the way, anyone who's watching, <sighs> yeah, all right. For me. No, I get all the flavors I that I really want from Full City, and then when I feel like going on one of these crazy fruitless missions, usually I get a bunch of stuff from there. See, look at that. It's got what is that? Like a circus tent? See the logo? Holy moly! That is dark as. Is that the bottle being black or is that concentrate? No, that's the concentrate. Oh, Lord. 
That it's looks not, so dark. It's not that bad. It's amber colored. It's, it looks like whiskey. Okay. Looks it like seems whiskey. pretty dark for a pomegranate, though. Uh, yeah, pomegranate I think should be a clear flavoring for the most part. Um, that one is definitely not clear. <laughs> well, I mean, there's Capella grenadine. That looks like pink. Well, that's Capella grenadine, though. That one's yeah. <laughs> well, Bigford sucked too. Oh, um, dang it. it wasn't. It wasn't like a health cap and pomegranate or a Capella grenadine situation. It's um, just kind of bland. Like it was really sweet. The, the thing that stuck out to me most was how sweet it was and how naturally sugary the sweetness is. Um, oh, really? So it didn't taste like sucralose or? No, it didn't taste like sucralose. It tasted like sugar, but it was sort of bland. Beyond that, it was pretty flat and okay. dull and cardboardy. Like the overall impression would be is cardboard soaked with watered down pomegranate juice and sprinkled with sugar. And so it, did it, it did sugar, have though, pomegranate note to it. It did, yeah, but it was flat was and cardboardy. Tart? Was there any tartness? No. No. Okay. Not that I recall. I don't recall any tartness at all. Okay. No. Just a, an unusual, usually natural sweetness. Which is interesting, but if that's all it's got going for it, yeah. Have you tried any other Dick Fart flavors? <laughs> Dick Fart. <laughs> I, I might have tried their milk when I went crazy on milks a while back, but I don't remember. Yeah, of all the flavors to go crazy on. If I did, it was bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'll try more in the future. I think, um, but not that one. Not pomegranate. It's just. It was disappointing. Um, then I tried one called Fairy's Finest, which is just like the fruitiest fruit flavor. Yeah, that's another one I haven't heard of before. Fairy's Finest. Have you had? Have you tried anything by yeah, them before? There's a little fairy on the bottle. See that? Oh, look at that. Yeah, a little fairy. I hate how the DIY Vapor Supply makes their logo take up half the bottle. Like, I don't give a shit where it comes from. <laughs> I want to know the name of the flavor and the brand of the flavor. That's what I want to know. Why is your logo half the bottle? Don't do that. It's annoying. <laughs> Don't give a shit where it came from. Um, but yeah, Fairy's Finest Pomegranate tastes like fl flavor art pomegranate. Um, but it's about half as potent and a lot less vibrant or a little less vibrant. And so that's... Okay. Why I can't really think of it. Why would you use that when flavor art is a readily available option that does a better job of doing pretty much the same thing that anyone can get, you know? Yeah. And it's anywhere. more concentrated. Yeah. And it, 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 it's literally 3%. I tried it. It's about the same as one and a half percent flavor art pomegranate. So, and it's still a little less vibrant. So it's not even just weaker. It's also just a little bit less, has a little less, ugh, you know? Oh, but it, okay. It's it not tastes, as punchy. Yeah, it's not as punchy, but it does, it tastes about the same. So okay. it makes me interested in trying more Fairy's Finest because that's not bad. It's just, yeah, not, a yeah. of just Fairy's Finest. what have you oh, tried yeah. from there? Um, they're white chocolates. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, they're cream cheese. Mm. Um, let's see. Can you remember if you liked those or what you well, thought about they them? Weren't, I don't remember them being bad, but they just, yeah, you know, they just weren't as good as some of the other. Well, cream know, cheese. I don't know if I've ever had a cream cheese flavor from anywhere else. So that might be one that I would be interested in uh, if it wasn't, you know, like super butyric and gross. <laughs> um, Okay, that one, let me look at my notes right now. That one wasn't good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the cheese wasn't good. But the white chocolate. I mean, one, was good? The white chocolate wasn't bad. It was smooth. It was thick, um, semi sweet. Um, it was kind of soft with a, like a nice, thick mouthfeel. Cool. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, but it, with all the white chocolate, all the really good white chocolates out there. Uh, not bad. Sort like, of falls in the same category as yeah, pomegranate. Yeah. Okay. And um, but I guess those are the only two I've tried. So gotcha. I'd be open to trying more Bigford and Fairs Finest and Nature Flavors and stuff. For sure. Were either of those in the plums I sent you? 
Um, yes, I haven't. Yes, Fairy's Finest Plum. I haven't tried oh, yeah. it yet. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get around to that one. Yeah. Cool. Well, I don't have, that's my, that was my deep dive, and I was too busy with all these off-the-wall flavors. I didn't try any new recipes that I didn't try the last time that we talked about this, which was mostly just like Inigata de Vida and a couple of variants of that and um, something called Splatter that was pretty good. But yeah, I, I had a, it's been a while. I had trouble finding any that I could actually mix up. There was you know, a couple key ingredients I was mixing in at least all of them. <laughs> I had a little luck with uh, four of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tell us about yeah. it, um, all right. I don't know if uh, James has them up yet, but I guess maybe start with Pucker Juice by Dodger Fog. Um, oh, I like Dodger. Yeah, wow. Dodger's awesome, man. He's always in chat. He sent mixes. Um, yeah. This one is 2.5% Flavor West Green Apple, 2.5% Flavor West Pomegranate, 2% Flavor Art Sour Wizard, and a half a percent of Capella's Super Sweet. Oh. Um, and it's a pretty good mix. It's uh, like a candyish green apple up front with, you know, a little bit of that peel note that's in Flavor West Green Apple. And it's followed right up by pomegranate. And in the middle where they kind of overlap, it's this real nice tart combination. It's, uh, it's real bright and refreshing. Um, the Sour Wizard might be a little high, but he might be doing that on purpose to kind of yeah. keep that peel note in control. Uh, but overall, just a, a mm. kind of simple, straightforward combo that that I really enjoy. Mm. So uh, yeah, good job, Dodger. Nice. nice. Good job. Yeah, I like when they keep it simple too. Like Me too. you really only got what it's basically a two flavor recipe with some uh, additives, right? Right. Exactly. So that's pretty neat. Cool. Um, next up, I guess Sour Worms by Enya Reclaw by Wayne. Oh yeah, I've had this one. Yeah. Let me pull the recipe up here real quick. Um, he's got 1% TPA pineapple, 4% TPA pomegranate, a half a percent of Capella Super Sweet, and 3% TPA Swedish Gummy. Mm. Um, this was a really interesting one. I never really thought that TPA Swedish Gummy would have bent into something like this. Yeah. Um, but it, it gives a nice chewy and round base for the, the fruits to, to lay on. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, even though the TPA pomegranate was pretty gross, single flavor, <laughs> it, it actually fit pretty well here. Um, yeah, it, it, that, that harsh kind of edge uh, really lends itself to the sour gummy worm. Exactly. It, it yeah, bends that. It's funny. Right. Oh, yeah. It's funny because I was thinking as I was tasting like some of these pomegranates, I was like, oh, you know what I bet would go well with this is like some TFA Swedish gummy. Yeah, it, it works perfect with uh, the TPA pomegranate. It really does bend it into something a little sharper and tartar, and uh, and yeah, the floral. And I bet ledge, the pineapple rounds it out pretty well too. Yeah, the the floral edge of pi of pomegranate works with the uh, the pineapple to kind of hit that sour note. You know, it's Is that recipe harsh to you at all? No, not really. Like just was, to vape it. Yeah, no, yeah, it was, it was it gummy as hard. At, at first, it was a little harsh, but like after a day or two, it was fine. I, Swedish I've had, gummy is violent to me. <laughs> I've had all these steeping for three weeks now. Okay. Um, I, and I didn't try any of them right off the bat. So it, it might have started out uh, harsh, but by now it's it's nice and smooth. Cool. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't quite hit that, you know, intense sour, uh, intense, like gritty sourness. Nothing the actual ever will. But yeah, nothing yeah. ever will. It, uh, it, it, it gets close enough to satisfy me, though. So. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, then we got Pamilla by Rude Rudy. And this one is 4.5% JF Bavarian Cream, a quarter percent of FA Bilberry, 1% of Capella Creamy Yogurt, 1.5% of Flavor Art Pomegranate, and 1% of Inawera Shisha Vanilla. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I was... I was a little worried about the Bavarian cream being. I was about five. to say that's a lot of jungle flavors, Bavarian cream. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the and, hell? And it, it is a lot, but it actually works out pretty well. You know, the JF Bavarian cream is kind of one of the darker Bavarian creams. Yes, yeah. sir. And uh, and it works out really well with the FA pomegranate and the FA bilberry. You know, it, it's a real deep flavor. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. 
Um, How's that a uh, creamy yogurt play in there? That was piquing my curiosity. It's good. It gives the creams a little bit of a tangy edge, and mm-hmm. in turn, that plays well with the tangy pomegranate. You know, they yeah. they all kind of fit really well together. Yeah, um, it looks like that that creamy yogurt would be a good bridge between like the all the deep, you know, like deep creamy flavors, mm-hmm. and then that bright pomegranate. It looks like exactly. Yeah. I bet that shisha vanilla really provides a nice little uh, finishing. Nice, yeah, nice little vanilla right there on the end. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the wow, the bilberry kind of darkens the uh, the pomegranate and. Man, and that looks really good. With, uh, <laughs> you know how the flavor art or yeah, flavor art pomegranate. Sometimes the floral notes almost seem kind of spicy. Mm-hmm. Um, the the flavor art bilberry works really well with that. You know the again them just both yeah, being sort dark of a little bit yeah so th- that was that was another good one good job rudy man yeah that one looks really good i yeah. bet you finished that, that one <laughs> pamilla? I'm sorry. uh yeah pamilla p-o-m-i-l-l-a like palm and vanilla yeah um, yeah yeah all righty and then my I last one vanilla and pomegranate together yeah yeah, I love shisha it's vanilla, fine. man. That's one of my favorites right there. Yeah, Sounds it goes like good to everything. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then the last one I got here is number eight, Apple Mr. Green by Eva Lynn. Mm. And this is another kind of straightforward one. It's just 3% FA Apple Fuji, 3% FA Kiwi, and 1.5% FA Pomegranate. Wow. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Fuji and Kiwi paired together. They're yeah. real complementary and, and similar. Um, Kiwi kind of brings out the tartness in the apple, and uh, they go really well together. And the pomegranate comes in here and kind of adds a little floral accent to it. Everything's balanced really nicely. The uh, nothing, nothing stands out over anything else. It's all blended really well. And it's just a, 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 a fun kind of apple vape. It's not necessarily an apple vape, but... I don't know. It's it's just a, a fun vape. I enjoyed it. A little fruity vape, light and refreshing. Yeah, yeah, pretty simple one. Yeah, I like those simple vapes. I'm all about the simple vapes. Me too, man. I Can't beat them. I like my complex, you know, nuanced stuff. But as far as like an all day vape, I'm usually just like, just give me something that I can just. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of like in your face flavor, and it's kind of hard to do that with the real layered and complicated recipes I, I like the kind of straightforward stuff that you can kind of crank all the percentages up and really really push the flavor home nice oh, good recipes man good finds yeah. those yeah. all look like they were really good yeah they were mm-hmm. yeah this was overall a pretty good uh, pretty good week woo Woo-hoo, indeed. <laughs> Miss Burgundy, we always love it whenever you can come on. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yes, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. And uh, shout out to everybody in chat. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> what are we doing next week, boys? Next week? Are you even going to show up next week? Next week, we're doing uh, week one of three weeks of tobacco. I, yeah, I'll, I'll show up, but um, awesome. I don't have anything to bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> You can ask the questions. You could be like an interviewer. Put, yeah. put on your journalism hat. Right. Um, That'll be nice. Last time we did three weeks of tobacco, it was over a year ago. Um, I think about a year and a half ago, wasn't it? It's been a while. Yeah, it was towards the beginning of when Noted first started. And we did three weeks. We broke it up into aromatic, non-aromatic, and additives. This time we're breaking it up into American, European, and Asian by brand. Oh. So okay. we're going to try to, we're going to do like a, you know, not, not a real structured in-depth review, but just like talk about, you know, your favorites, your least favorites, yeah. what the American brands are doing right, what's doing wrong. And um, yeah, so American tobaccos. Time. Yeah. I'll just show yeah. up to heckle you. Yeah. Heckle, referee, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we'll have some Capella tobaccos for you. <laughs> some <laughs> more. <laughs> I mean, I won't. You, you might. I, I'm not going to do that. Dude, no. I, I totally <laughs> forgot. But I, when we were at the show, uh, I got like their whole line of tobacco flavors. So that's going to be really awesome, I'm sure. Good times. <laughs> I cannot wait. Yeah. She said, oh, 
I know they're not terrible. It just sounds bad to me, you know? Yeah, think, Capella and tobacco, I don't know. What I'm thinking about Capella and what they taste like and what they do well and <laughs> also what they don't do well, I'm thinking yeah. about tobacco and I'm going, eh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We'll see, though. These are brand new to me, so I'll actually be excited to review them, so... But the but the American brands are like their Flavora, your Capella, your TFA. That's a lot of flavors right there. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, we've got your your jungle flavors, not jungle flavors. I'm sorry, they're made in uh, in Germany. Um, we've got your um, what is it? Uh, Wonder flavors. We've got uh, Wonder, Liquid Barn. Wonder flavors Canadian. Well, I guess same thing. So when, this look, just hemisphere, okay? Okay. <laughs> North American. <laughs> Yeah. North American, thank you. There are no South American ones, so we could just say American and cover the whole thing, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, all of those guys. Uh, right. Some nets, some American nets. We can talk about that. Hey, sticks. Naturally attracted, yeah, we'll talk- naturally extracted tobaccos. Oh, It'll be some Thai stuff. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He's, he's got a lot. Shoot. <laughs> And we'll have a we should have an extra large panel for that too. Good, yeah. good, good. So good. we'll need some help. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so my absence will not be missed. Well, my not my absence, but my You're the my, referee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just hurry you along. All right, next. Let's go. You know, people have strong feelings about their tobaccos. You might be needed to do some actual referee work. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. right. Guys, so, stop fighting. I stand stop by. Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. It'll be a fun time, I think. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We always have so much fun on this show. I know it's late for some of you guys, so we really appreciate it. Love all our viewers. And uh, everyone have a good night. Yeah, peace out, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mr. Burgundy. See you guys. Woo!